Democratic gubernatorial candidate Alex Sink took her turn in front of the Forum Club at the Palm Beaches today. And while she was happy to entertain some questions from the Forum Club audience, she refused to answer any questions from the media, quickly ducking behind a curtain. While the news cameras couldn't follow the gubernatorial candidate, some tough questions will. Just minutes before her press people whisked her away, Sink was railing on her opponent, Rick Scott, and demanding accountability. It's high time that we create a culture of accountability with a stronger focus on results in Tallahassee. But recently, Sink herself has been facing questions of accountability, like why she didn't raise the red flag sooner on the excessive spending at the Tallahassee Taj Mahal even though she was the one signing the checks? Or what exactly was her reasoning behind approving 11 convicted felons for insurance licenses to handle personal financial information? Some had been convicted of financial related crimes. Yeah, my understanding is that if you meet certain statutory criteria, regardless of your background, you're eligible to receive a license. And so she was complying with the law. State Attorney Michael McAuliffe's understanding matches a brief response that Sync campaign released earlier this week, a response the Scott campaign has declared an outright lie, citing Alex Sync's own website as proof. In West Palm Beach, Lane Wright, Sunshine State News.